Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the outlier future darts. These are made with the same excellent F-cloth material as the future works and the new way shorts, both of which I have previously reviewed and a link is in the top right hand corner. I would also like to thank Sean at Outlier for sending me out these pants for review. The main difference between these future darts and the future works is that the future darts have a slightly different cut in the legs and are sewn with a dart to eliminate the outer seam that you would usually see on pants. This gives them a free moving and tapered silhouette according to Outlier. F-cloth is a very nice fabric especially for the summer and transitional seasons. It's made from a 97% nylon and a 3% elastane and it has a very comfortable two-way stretch as well. I noticed that some people complained about nylon pants making a kind of swishing sound while you're walking but I didn't notice that with these. Not unless you walk with your legs literally pressed together and it would be unnatural to do so. The inner pocket material is made from a soft mesh material too which makes the pants feel very breathable and means that they will dry more quickly after washing as well. In terms of sizing, I asked those of you who follow me on Instagram, which is at Packing Ice by the way, which of these sizes you think fit best. And as you can see, it was a bit of a polarizing fit with the 31 winning by just a vote or two. Personally, I felt that the size 30 was a touch tight in the thigh area, but not uncomfortably so, but I do notice it when I'm walking. If they stretch out in the same way as the sling dungarees, then I would definitely stick with the size 30. I was reading the Outlier subreddit and people mentioned that the future darts and the F-cloth material don't really stretch out much, while some people said that they did. Some suggested sizing down one from the usual size with the future darts because they're slightly looser in the top block. I agree that the future darts are a little looser in the top block than the future works. In my future works review, as you can see in the top right here, I fit in the size 31 much more comfortably than the size 30 because it was far too tight. With the future darts, it was hard for me to choose, so please leave a comment down below which of the sizes that you've seen in this review you think looks best. I think it's also a bit of a matter of a stylistic choice too. Sizing down one will give you a more slim fit, whereas going with your regular size, which for me is the 31, gives a more traditional fit and in some ways more comfortable as well because it's not quite as tight so it'll be a little bit more breathable in the summer. If you are going to be buying a pair I would suggest getting two, one in your regular size and then sizing down one just to see which one you think fits best. And Ally does have a very generous 45 day return period so at least if you live in the US it will be very convenient for you. The future darts are also water resistant as you can see here most of the rain droplets slide off the pants without soaking in. But some drops do wet through the fabric, but it's quite normal for the light, durable water repellent coating to have this. The great thing about the F-cloth fabric is that it dries very fast. On a sunny day I've had them dry within an hour and sometimes less depending on the conditions and how wet they are. My only real complaint about these pants is that there's no gusseted crotch. But the two-way stretch does leave them feeling very comfortable to wear in a variety of situations. In terms of price, they are 148 US dollars or 220 Australian which is actually quite acceptable for a pair of pants as versatile and as nice looking as these. These pants would be quite suitable in office or casual situation. And since they're made from an F-cloth material and they have mesh pockets, they could also technically be used for swimming, although I wouldn't recommend it. Overall, a really great pair of pants and they're really starting to replace my slim dungarees as my kind of go-to pants for going out. I definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for a new pair of pants, especially if you're looking for a pair that can pass off as both dressy and in casual situations. So that's it, thanks for much watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below which of the two sizes you thought fit or looked better, and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.